Rough, rough video. Hi, my ILS students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We're cooking. And in your packet you received, you should have received a packet of stars. Miss Kelly calls this pastina, which is basically little pasta. And we're going to make some little pasta today. So please get out your Wednesday, week 21 packet. Go to the very last page and see what we might need. You're gonna need a pot. As you can see, Miss Kelly has already put her water on and it's boiling. So you'll need a pot. You'll need the pastina. You'll need boiling water. Check. See how the water is bubbling? So my water is now turning into a gas or steam. And you're gonna need a stove, either electric or gas. You're gonna need butter and salt. So the first thing we wanna do is look at our pastina package and you'll see there's direction. Um, it says to use a 2.5 quarts of water per pack. Bring it to a boil, add the pastina, and then stir occasionally and season to taste. So, I will get a pair of scissors, cut open my packet, and carefully pour it in. Now remember, this water is boiling, so you do not want to be too close, and you don't want to put yourself in danger. So, you can go right to the side and carefully pour it in. Do not touch your pot. And then stir it. You're gonna stir it occasionally so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And it's gonna take it a little while. So Miss Kelly had an idea. While we're waiting for our pastina to boil, I already had out a couple different colanders because remember this is very small pasta so that I can drain off the water that best way. I also use a pot that I can drain off with. I want you, since we're waiting anyways, to get out your Thursday week 21 packet and don't go all the way to the back. You're gonna go to our ripple effect page. The Great Kindness Challenge, 25th to the 29th. So we're talking about acts of kindness and their ripple effect. The Great Kindness Challenge um, is January 25th to the 29th. Kind acts can make people feel good. They can make people who do kind acts feel good. They can make people who receive or see kind acts feel good. How kind acts can make many people feel good is like a ripple effect. So we can explore different items that make ripples. So you're gonna need water, a bowl, a rock, a button, paper clip, and a pencil. So here we go. I'm gonna get my water. Here's my bowl. I have my, oh, hold on, my pencil and my button. I have a coin, oh, there's my paper clip, and my rock. So I'm gonna take the water. Stop stripping. And put some water in my bowl. You don't wanna fill it more than halfway, because you're gonna be watching the effects of dropping items into it. So, here it is while we're waiting for my pastina. Now remember, you gotta keep stirring your pastina too while you're going through this. There we go. If it's not ready by the time we're done our ripple effect, we will uh, just discuss what we're gonna be doing. Okay, so I have all the items. Turn the page. It says, put water in the bowl, half full. It's a little less than half full, but that's okay. Look at items and compare size. Hold items and compare weight. So if you think about it, I have a rock that is gonna be much heavier than my button. 
so it'll probably have a different ripple effect. So my pencil versus my paper clip, there's not a big weight difference, but there's definitely a larger size difference. The pencil is much longer than my short paper clip. So as I drop items into the bowl, we're gonna see a ripple effect. So first thing it wants me to drop in there is the rock, which my guess is because it's large and heavy will have a large ripple effect and I might have to clean up some water. So here we go, I'm gonna drop it in. One, two, three. So there is your ripple effect for the rock. Now it says to drop the button into the bowl. Okay, let's watch and see. Should we wait till it's completely done? It's still moving a little bit. One, two, three. Well, you can still see a little ripple effect from the button. Now it says drop the paper clip into the bowl. Here we go. Notice I'm holding them higher when I know they're not gonna make that much of a splash. One, two, three. A little ripple effect. And drop the pencil into the bowl. And observe. One, two, three. Well, that one had quite a lot more ripple effect than I anticipated. So then what you're gonna do is, were the items the same size? No. Were the items the same weight? No. Did every item make a ripple in the water? Yes. At least that's what I saw. Which item made the biggest ripple? Well, it was probably the rock, but it happened faster. Which item made the smallest ripple? I would have guessed a paper clip. What other items would you like to test? Well, Miss Kelly brought a coin. So let's see the coin makes much. Ooh, that was a good size ripple effect there. There you go. So that is our ripple effect extra credit science. And I'm gonna stir my pastina, see how it is. You know what? Kelly really usually will test your pastina, but it's not Mm. It's almost ready. So what I'm gonna have ready for my pastina when it's ready is butter. I think you guys have all figured out by now that Miss Kelly loves butter. And when the pastina is nice and hot, you can put the butter in like a teaspoon or a tablespoon and blend it all up and it's delicious. The other thing I always put in my pastina is salt. Two very simple ingredients, butter and salt. And so what you need to do, as soon as that pasta is ready and it's all done boiling, which hopefully will be pretty soon, you're going to use a multitude of options. You can use a lid with the strainer holes. Sometimes you can boil it all the way down to where there isn't the excess water. Or you can use colander. Just be aware that these are tiny pasta. So as you see, Miss Kelly has two colanders. Both of these will work pretty well for this particular pasta because you can see the holes are pretty small. But if you have one with larger holes, it's probably not gonna work. You're gonna end up dumping half your pasta down the drain. And again, I hope you guys remember to wash your hands before you start cooking. It's very important to have clean hands when you're cooking. Let me see how ready it is. We'll see if it's ready. If it is, I'll get it ready for you. If not, we're definitely gonna do this tomorrow in class. Hopefully we'll get to do both. Remember, boiling water, very, very hot. Mm. I think I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. We'll do this tomorrow too. So just remember, strain it, add some butter, add some salt, and enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough videos.